Tens of thousands of dollars of ammunition stolen from the Sarvata gun shop. The weird twist in this story, the crooks did it without setting foot inside the store. Here tonight, Mark Stewart is live to show us exactly how this heist was pulled off. And Mike, it was all stored outside, inside this trailer, ready for shipment. If you look down below, you can see this is one of the spots where a lock was cut. Let's take a walk. I'll meet you on the other side. On the front of the truck, a number of locks by the hitch. As you can see right here, another spot where a lock was cut off, making it very easy to pull this trailer away with all the ammunition. Ammunition is something that, uh, you know, is... You know, we don't take it lightly, you know, as far as the severity of, of what happened. $100,000 worth of ammunition stolen from this truck one week ago tonight. It was parked behind OD Green Supply on West 52nd in Arvada. The last thing I would want is for anything to fall into wrong hands. That's why Arvada police want you to take a good look at this SUV, a 2000 to 2006 Chevy Tahoe. It's believed criminals used the truck to tow the trailer away, eventually ditching it near the shell station. Anytime that, you know, uh, something is taken from you, you know, you do have that sense of violation and things like that. Gun stores and what they sell may be becoming an even greater target for thieves amid concerns new laws and regulations will make it tougher to buy ammunition. Munition. This was the scene last June when someone drove a car through the front of Hammerdown Firearms, also in Arvada, taking what they could from inside. Given the, you know, the climate in the state over the last 12, 14 months, uh, you know, it's it's desirable. Uh, I mean, it's definitely something that uh, you know there would be a market for. Back here live, there are surveillance cameras. A number of them. They were working, but the man who was cutting the locks was working so quickly and the fact that he was covered from head to toe literally made it very difficult for anyone to get a very good suspect description. We're live in Arvada tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.